Hello, Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, I bet you can't guess what this video is about. So, bounty hunters, ships, four of them. Apparently, we need all four for the unlocking of the uh, imminent arrival of Han and Chewie's ship that is going around being coined MILF. Yes, the one that we all want. So, to unlock a seven star MILF or have the opportunity of, you need seven star ships. So, we're all frantically farming all well, the nodes that we need to farm. As you can see, Hound Tooth and Slave One are already seven star. Xanadu Blood and IG2000 were the ones that I was uh, working on, and here they both are. Ironically, I'm not actually using Xanadu Blood in ships at the moment, although I probably will be switching over fairly soon. Um, let's have a butcher's. What we got? Upgrade multiplier, blah, blah, blah. So um, these are the numbers down here. Health 71, 739. Protection 37, 398, so 108, 109k, health protection, 165 speed, they're kind of like the main ones you're looking at, damage, armor, all the rest of it, it's like meh, it does what it does, the only thing that you can really do is just impact on those stats by all the various upgrades and whatnot, so let's do it, upgrade, yes please, Bing bong and whoa that's quite a big jump 48 687 total power so now 1.5 upgrade multiplier so now let's get there here we are health is now 77 973 and protection is 41.554. Yeah, all right. Um, speed, wow. Speed took a bit of a jump there, didn't it? It's gone up to 170. Uh, the only other stat there I, was, I called out, and I can't even remember what it was. Damage, 9.456. And there's the rest of the bits and bobs. Whoa. Big jump on speed. Um, as for the crew member, I don't know. We've got. We'll come back to that. Yay! So, halfway there. Xanadu blood. IG two thousand. Um, I can't even max out his initiate slide sequence at the moment. Because he needs to be five stars. So, facts and figures on here. So, the upgrade multiplier currently 1.15. We're just going to whiz, whiz on through this one. Well, I don't know what that word was, but I said it. 67,067 health, 17,507 protection, uh, combined 82.5k, 165 speed. 8590 damage, and there's the other bits there that are kind of pretty much static, I think, on most of them. So let's take him up to five star. So it's 1.25 multiplier now. Continue. Let's see where we go with that. So that means now translates to. 71,634 on the health, 19,030 on the protection, 169 speed. So we gain four speed there. Combination of those two above, what's that, 80, 90,500, there, thereabouts. 9139 damage now. My voice is going, I'm sorry. So that's that one. Um, let's go again and then I can actually deploy him in platoons because this is why I'm doing this well 
that and the imminent arrival of the MILF. So, yay, GP's going up. Um, so with the 1.35 multiplier, 76,201 health, 20,552 protection, 172 speed. Clocking it in now. 9689 on damage as well. Sorry about the voice. It really is starting to go. So the final upgrade. Yeehaw. Done. Get back to farming the Sif Bomber now. So 45, 134 total power. Uh, and the final stats on a 1.5 multiplier now are 83,052 health. 22,836 protection, 178 on the speed. So that has increased somewhat, hasn't it? Uh, 10,512 now on the damage. Might have to give this ship a, a, a run out. And because, just because I've got quite a few of these, I am going to do these bits as well. So the initiate, initiate slice sequence. Uh, number two, or second one, or whatever we call in this, uh, level. How about that? Ability level bonus gave the game away to me. Inflict critical chance down on all enemies, all enemies for two turns. Wow, I can't even read now. What the? Bing. And to take it to level three, um, inflict target lock for two turns on the highest and lowest health enemy which can't be evaded for two turns. And we'll do that as well. Cool. Um, let's have a look. So I've got two pieces already on my IG-88. If you remember... Oh, do I take these up to seven? I'm going to take them up to seven. Actually, I'm probably going to cry about this, but I'm actually going to do that one as well. Just because it's so much, it's gaining. And yeah, and I'll bump that one up. I'll take the additional 15% damage as well. I'm going to stop there. I, I, As you can see, I am limited there on how many ship omegas I have. So um, that shouldn't have changed any of the stats. And did I say 178 speed? Oh, sorry, I might have got that, said that wrong earlier. Right, no, that hasn't impacted at all on that. It has done my galactic power the world of good, yay. So let's come back here and come back to the pilot. Actually, before I do, we will just have a refresh or recap. 77,973, 41, 554, 170 speed, 9456 damage. Right. Come back to the pilot. What have I got here? Um, how many of these have I got? I've got quite a few of those. I've got quite a few of those. I still can't bring myself to deploy that. Okay, it's Cad Bane. You know what? I've got one. It can go on him. So, before I deploy the armor plating, um, as a give a spoiler alert there, what did that do? 78, 734, 42,061, 171 speed, 9.545 on the damage. So we gained a speed, we gained one speed, and we boosted... The health and protection, I believe. So, come here. Bang that on. And straight back over to the ship. And 79,495 now on the health. 42,568 on the protection. 172 on the speed. So, again, one speed on there. 4143 potency. 9635 damage, so the damage has increased as well. Okay, that will be it. Um, 
I'm gonna switch screen. I could have done that all the time, couldn't I? And we'll end on the IG2000 just because it's been a pain to get. Good luck with your farming for MILF, and till next time. Thank you for watching.